State Elections Board had been predicting a 30 to 35 percent voter turnout today, a huge turnout, and so far it looks like they weren't too far off. Thousands could be found casting ballots all across the state today, taking part in this historic election. NBC 26's Casey Hott continues our live team coverage. Yeah, good evening, Stacey. The latest numbers show that most polling places in our area will hit the low number of that projection, just around 30 percent voter turnout. But in Brown County, 42 percent of registered voters made it out to the polls today. More than a million people cast ballots all across the state with the hopes of making their voices heard. For many voters across the state, it was a chance to make history. Democratic voters say they're hoping today's results put them one step closer to recalling Governor Scott Walker. I will say that I'm encouraged and optimistic that things will change. I'm voting uh, Democratic. Um, I feel it's critically important that we make some changes. I think that unfortunately some of us were not out there the way we should have been last time. We got ourselves into a lot of difficulty and this is the way to fix it. But Republicans say Walker's done nothing wrong and that voters will make that clear on June 5th. I'm voting for Scott Walker. I think he did everything right. Well, the governor did not do anything illegal, and there's no reason for a recall. Um, there's lots of times we disagree with you know, legislation and so on, but that doesn't mean that you recall a person just because of disagreeing with a decision that's been made. And regardless of tonight's outcome, voters say all eyes will be on Wisconsin the next time the ballots are counted in June's recall election. Now, Walker is only the third governor in United States history to face a recall election. The general election will be held on June 5th. Casey Hott, NBC 26.